in 2007. I read a book called Mastering Your Hidden Self and this was by Serge Gahili King. And recently I've started reading another book by the same author, although this time he's missed out one of his names. And as you can see, this is an old book. But it is a book that is full of great information. And there was a part of the book that I thought would be good to talk about. And in this part of the book, it is called where it goes into the Kahuna philosophy and it says that this can be summed up in four statements and the first one is called Ike or Ike and that is you create your own reality and it says this means that your personal experience of reality, every part of it, you create it through your beliefs, expectations, attitudes, desires, fears, judgments, interpretations, feelings, intentions, and consist consistent or persistent thoughts. The second one, which is called Makia, or Makia, however you say it, is you get what you concentrate on. And it says here, the thoughts and feelings that you dwell on, in full awareness or not, form the blueprint for bringing into your life the nearest available equivalent experiences experience to those same thoughts and feelings. And the third one is Kala or Kayla and it says you are unlimited. There are no boundaries to your selfhood, no boundaries between you and your body, you and the world or you and God. Any divisions used for discussion are terms of function and or convenience because separateness is only an illusion. And number four, and this is Manawa, your moment of power is now. And it says, you are not bound by any experience of the past or any perception of the fut future. For the past is only a memory and the future is a mere possibility. You have the power in the present moment to change limiting beliefs and consciously plant seeds for a future of your choosing. As you change your mind, you change your experience. And then it basically says after this that these ideas are not unique to the kahunas. And I think that if anyone has been into self-development for quite some time they will have heard of the law of attraction. Or watched the secret video or perhaps they've heard of Neville Goddard or Wallace Wattles or Joseph Murphy. Or Napoleon Hill and these people all these documentaries, even what the bleep, have gone into the same thing about the effect that someone has on their reality. So, if you are interested in this, then perhaps you might enjoy reading this book that goes into the Kahuna healing. And I think that it could allow you to expand your mind, to grow and to live a more fulfilling existence.